I'm just saying I will never work with them ever again. <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm Sean Elmore. I'm a pop culture artist and painter, and today I'm going to be showing you a speed paint of the largest painting I've ever done, and I'm gonna answer some questions from Instagram. I had a little Q&A on my story, and I decided it would be a good time to do it while I'm working on like a giant speed paint, the largest painting I've done yet. So today, I will be painting this iconic picture of Paris Hilton, Britney Spears, and Lindsay Lohan from November 27th, 2006. This picture literally defines iconic. It is the first coming of the Holy Trinity. Paris recently said in an interview that her and Britney were having a really fun night out and Lindsay literally forced herself into the car. Paris and Lindsay notoriously had beef before this happened though. Insert clip. Paris is a cut. Britney was staying over at Paris's that night and after they all got in the car, had their pictures taken by the paparazzi, they got home and Paris and Britney hung out for a while and Lindsay kind of just went home or went to another party because it wasn't enough fun for her apparently. So that's the backstory of the picture that I'm painting. It was literally so iconic that you, there's no way you haven't even seen this picture. Like if you're watching anything that I've ever done, you've seen this picture. Even if you're not watching anything I've ever done and you're just stumbling upon this video, you've seen this picture. Anyway, I figured that would be a really good segue to get into my questions that were asked to me from Instagram. So my number one, the first question was, favorite pop culture moment ever. And honestly, I think this is my favorite pop culture moment ever, especially learning the backstory and knowing that Lindsay wasn't really invited and kind of just forced herself in, makes it a little bit better for me. How do you get your hair to look so healthy and amazing? Well, thank you, Paul. Um, I literally just shampoo it and I condition it and that's it. I don't do anything to it. I don't blow dry, nothing. I literally just wash it, I let it dry. I brush it if I'm lucky. <laughs> How were you able to collab with MTV? This is a good one. This is a juicy question. I actually don't think I've publicly like talked about my, um, how the collab with MTV came about, but I had an amazing producer at MTV named Cheryl. She is really, really sweet. But uh, she reached out to me and said that, hey, we're really interested in your work. We would love if you collabed with us. And it was a really fun interactive experience. They got to ask me, what things were coming up or celebrity birthdays that I was aware of that they wanted me to paint or I wanted to paint. And then they would send me a list of things that they wanted me to do. And if I was okay with it, if they aligned with my brand, I would do it. And basically I just did everything they sent me because it's MTV. But yeah, they reached out to me through email because they saw my Instagram. All right, another question from the same user. Thank you. What made you want to be a pop culture artist? Um, I wanted to be a pop culture artist just because Literally since I started drawing, it was always the same exact stuff. My first drawing that I ever did, like an actual real drawing, I'll insert a picture here if I'm feeling ballsy. It was of Lady Gaga from her like love game photo shoot, I believe. And it was in 2011. That was my first like serious piece of art where I was getting into portraiture. And it was just, it was just a natural thing for me. Watercolor is my favorite technique. How long did it take you to perfect your technique? Well, I don't think I've perfected it yet. So I started doing watercolor in like 2013, 2014, and I originally started with Copic markers, but I don't think I'm done perfecting it yet. I think I learn something new every single time I make a painting and that's how I want it to be. It's interactive. I try new things. I use a blow dryer most of the time for that, not my hair. And it's just the practice really helps for me. Like every time I do something, I learn something new. I figure out what I want to get done. I just want to say you seem like an awesome person and I hope all is well with you. Thank you so much. All is well with me. I hope all is well with you too. <laughs> what is your creative process in deciding what pop culture moments to paint? So my creative process is very weird and it doesn't have a strategy to it. I have a list um, in my studio that's actually right here. You can't see it because it's off camera, but of just like things that inspire me and things that I would want to paint eventually if I haven't already. But basically I just look through like iconic shit. Like I'll I'll look on Twitter. I follow some really awesome Instagram accounts like Pop Culture Angel, um, Do You Love the 2000s? Just because that was like the era I grew up and that's the stuff that made me so into pop culture already. So like when I see iconic pictures like the one that I'm painting right now of Paris, Brittany, and Lilo, I just have to do it. I have to paint it. No question, I just stan you. <laughs> Thank you, Gabby. I love you. <laughs> Kidding, what's your favorite project you've done so far? my number one favorite project of all time that I've ever done, and I don't think I'll be able to top it literally ever, 
is a commission that I did for Miley Cyrus that I can't talk about yet. But Gabby, you know what it is, actually, because I already told you about it. But I'm not allowed to talk about it publicly yet. And I will be able to soon, I'm sure. We'll see. But yeah, um, that's my favorite project I've ever done. And I love working for Miley. And I've done it a few times. And I plan to work with her way more often. She is the nicest person I've ever worked for as compared to some people. <laughs> and I'm not going to name them. I'm just saying I will never work with them ever again. <laughs> Do you play a specific genre of music while painting or just random bops from your faves? It all depends on the mood. If I'm doing a Britney Spears painting and I really want to get in the mood, I will put on Blackout. That is my all-time favorite Britney album. Um, that usually gets me in the mood literally every time that I want to be inspired to paint something pop culture because I think that's the peak of pop culture was like 2007. But um, usually it's 2000s music unless I'm doing like a current painting of Miley. So I'll listen to Miley's current music. Plastic Hearts comes out November 27th. Y'all better be buying and streaming. What's your process on the original sketch before painting? So I kind of have a, a different like process than I used to. Like it's a very recent thing. So normally I would do a thumbnail sketch and then I would blow it up and print it out. And cause like th my thumbnail sketch is like this big and I usually just paint on 10 by 14 paper, but I would blow it up and print it out and I would use a light box. But thanks to Miss quarantine, we'll call her. Thanks to Miss Quarantine, um, my light box was left in my studio at school and my friend actually has it right now, which is fine. I don't use it that often anymore, but I'll sketch on my iPad and I'll transfer it over to my computer and I'll literally, like I have a laptop, so I'll turn my laptop and I'll literally trace my sketch onto the paper because watercolor paper, if you erase on it too much, it gets rid of the coating that's on it and the pigment will not stay on the paper how you want it and it starts to like crumble and fall apart and it's not cute. So I don't erase on watercolor paper. If I have to more than once, I need to use a different piece of paper and my paper is not cheap. <laughs> what is some advice you would give to beginning artists who want to create a brand or business? The best thing that you can do ever, I'm gonna keep saying it, is to keep creating and keep posting. I don't care if you think it looks like shit, post it anyway. That is the one thing I've taught myself by doing this is that even my worst pieces are better than no pieces. Make something, post it, and create a brand for yourself. Create a brand identity. Create what you want to have. That's my main thing. I create paintings that I want on my wall because I'm sure somebody else is gonna want it too. I'm not the only one who likes the things I like. How do you relax after finishing an art project? So usually my art projects are my relaxation, but I love a good movie. I love just listening to music. And I honestly, to wind down, I, I draw. Like, so I'm never really stressed after doing a piece, but. How long have you been painting? So I've been painting, so painting officially has been since like 2013. But drawing and everything, like just making art in general, has been literally my entire life. Um, ever since I was little, my grandmom and I would watch Wizard of Oz and I would always ask her to make drawings for me, which I don't know why, I would just ask. And eventually I got tired of asking people, so <laughs> I started doing it myself, thank God. How often do you talk with Miley? I, talk to, I actually talk to her pretty often, she's really awesome. Um, when we work on projects together, I'm usually working directly with her. Her team gets involved for like actual processing things, but when it's idea stuff, it's her. What's your favorite Disney movie or Disney princess? So are we talking like just classic Disney movie? Because if so, Alice in Wonderland. Um, if not, probably still Alice in Wonderland, but I would probably have to consider like, I don't know, something like Hocus Pocus, like something really iconic like that. But for now, we'll go with Alice in Wonderland until I think of something better. What encouraging words do you have for indie artists? I myself am an indie artist. So literally keep making stuff. I'm going to say it a million times. Keep making shit. Keep posting shit. Tag people in your stuff if you make portraits of them because trust me, they will see it. Don't know how I ever got Miley to see my stuff and now I work with her. So keep doing it. If you're getting started with tips, what? <laughs> if you're getting started with art, any tips on what to do and how to get there? How to get out there? Um, again, keep making, keep posting. Um, another really good thing to do is if you do your research, if you wanna work 
like collaborate with a magazine or something like that. Like if you want to have your art in Rolling Stone, look up the art director, find his email, send him an email and send him like stuff of your work because you never know who's going to be like, yes, that is the piece I, I want you to make something. You know what I mean? So you just have to keep pushing it in front of people, whether it's your Instagram, Facebook, wherever you have any little bit of people watching. Just got to do it and you got to go for it full heartedly. How do you pick your most iconic pick of each celeb to feature? So it all depends. If I want to do a specific look from someone, like I'm working on one of Miley from Hannah Montana as the zombie right now, which by the time this video is posted, that'll already be posted. So put it here. But I usually compile a few different pictures that I want to use, like the look or the reference. I love paparazzi pictures or like red carpet pictures if I'm just trying to get a good headshot. And I'll use specific pictures of the look I'm trying to emulate and I'll either create a rendering of all of it or sometimes you just see a perfect picture that you're like, you know what, I'm just gonna paint the picture. <laughs> it all depends, it depends on the subject, but I usually go for like paparazzi pics and make my own rendering of the face. But the one that I'm using now, that the one that I did for this Miley painting that as Hannah Montana, um, I literally just found two pictures and I put them together basically. One for the face, one for the hair, so. What motivates you to draw? I have no idea. I could not tell you. I'm not motivated by making money off of it. I'm not motivated by attention. I just, even if I didn't have Instagram, if I didn't have social media, if I didn't do it for a living, I would still be doing it. So I figured, you know what, that's why I'm gonna post it everywhere and do all this stuff because it's just something in my brain that's like, hey, you should draw. <laughs> Dream gallery location. Like, if not a specific gallery, where in the world would you want to show? I want to show in LA. I want to show in LA. I want to show in New York again. I would love to show in London. Literally, I'll show wherever. I still want to do it in Philly. I have not done, like, a solo gallery in Philly. Actually, I've never done a solo gallery. But I've done a group show in, in Philly, and I've done a group show in New York. And I just want to do more in general. I miss when we could go out to galleries together and look at art and drink some wine. <laughs> You're iconic. Not a question, but wow, you really are the moment. Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad I'm the moment. I hope this moment lasts a little bit longer because I like attention. <laughs> Why watercolors? How did you start with watercolors? So I originally started with just pencil and then I eventually went to colored pencil because I wanted to add color. And then I went to Copic markers because somebody said it blends really nicely. And then a few people said that Copic markers are just the marker version of watercolor. So I was like, well, let me try watercolor. And I've been hooked ever since. I did acrylic for a little while, hated it. I did oil twice, hated it. No, watercolor all the way, like 100%. <laughs> all right, and I this is the final question that I have bookmarked. So what is your favorite Lana song? That's really hard. So I love Lana. Um, I think my all time favorite, like, ever shit that's hard um damn coming through with the really tough questions <laughs> i think it depends on the album for me because i think my mood changes so off of nfr my number one favorite would probably be fuck it i love you is my favorite off of nfr I think, I think favorite of all time though would have to be Florida Kilos from Ultraviolence. There we go. Or Cruel World from Ultraviolence. Both of those are my number one favorite. Um, when I saw her last, I asked her to perform Cruel World because because she was asking like the crowd and I was in the front, and I asked her to perform Cruel World because I never heard it before and she did and it was beautiful, especially live. But that that album is just flawless. I had one more question. Let me find it. It's gonna be so bad. Ah, I found it. All right. Okay. How did you become established as an artist? It looks like you solely support yourself as a work from home studio artist. How did you get there? Love your stuff and congrats on all of your dis your success. Well deserved, Reggie. Thank you, Reggie. Um, yeah, I it kind of just happened. Like I've been consistently posting, like I said, for a long time, and. It just all happened at once, right? When everything went into lockdown for quarantine, MTV reached out to me, Miley reached out to me, 
And that's when I decided I was gonna quit my day job. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make it work somehow. I'm gonna at least sell prints and stuff, which my online store is probably the like the easiest part of all of it. Um, start making prints, start making shirts. It takes a little bit of money up front to do it. Prints, not as much. Prints you can do, and even shirts, you can do a pre-order and then see how many people are actually gonna order and then make prints. But yeah, I decided I'm gonna make it work somehow, no matter what. And I knew for a fact that MTV and Miley were gonna pay good for when my MTV collab was still going. Like that was gonna hold me over for a little while for when there's a dry month, which that can happen at any time. So you just gotta prepare and you just gotta, you just gotta jump and get into it because you know what, like you never know when you're gonna be able to do it again and you don't wanna be able to be the person, you don't wanna be the person that is working a desk job or an office job and struggling to make art between their stuff. Like if you fully wanna make art, you just gotta go make the art. You just gotta fully commit, jump in and just do it. I hope you like the painting. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who asked questions. This is the absolute largest painting I've ever done. Um, let me hold it up. Here it is. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching me paint it. Um, this is literally the largest painting I've ever done, especially in watercolor. And I love it. This actually might be my favorite one. I hope you can see it well on here. If not, I'm going to insert a picture of the full resolution scan. But um, this is my favorite pop culture moment ever. If you liked it, be sure to hit that subscribe, like this, leave a comment. Tell me what your favorite pop culture moment is. If you have more questions for me, ask them in the comments because I will answer. But make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell if you wanna know when I'm gonna irregularly upload because it's supposed to be every Thursday or Friday and I missed last, last week, so I apologize. But that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the speed paint. Seriously, leave me more questions. I'm begging. I am, I've got info. I want to give it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great night. That was corny as shit. <laughs> thank you again for watching. Um, thank you for paying attention to me and my art and being interested in what I have to say. So yeah, on that note, bye.